Aries, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for May 11th through the 17th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll um, close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Um, let's see. So, the overall energy for the reading, the Page of Pentacles. Um, this is that student kind of energy, you know, when you're just starting school, you're curious, you're... Well, some of us are not curious about school, but you know what I mean. It's like new information, new things that are coming up for you, and you're open towards them. Um, in your recent past, you get the Five of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, the way this reading is showing up, it's it's kind of like a, a pattern of yours of, okay, we had a fight, I'm out the door. Bye-bye. I'm done here. Uh, I don't want to listen to you. I don't want to love you anymore. Bye-bye. I'm single. Bye. You know, that's how it starts. It's looking like a pattern of yours, something that you may have done over and over again in the past, like, too much fight, too much this and that, too much drama, too much, uh, I'm not going to put up with it, bye-bye. Which is normal, it's okay. But it also give, gives me the sense of um, when the shit hits the fan, you may be walking out the door. And sometimes, maybe you shouldn't, maybe there's stuff to be worked on, maybe there's you to be worked on in that department in terms of, yeah, sometimes things get hard. You know. Um, I'm not saying don't walk away if someone's abusing you or whatever the case, you know. Um, but sometimes when it gets too hard, you may be the one that walks away too easily, you know. Um, in your current situation, you get the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something that looks good to you in the in the current situation. Something that looks promising, something that looks like it can make you happy. Um, it could be a potential new love, I don't know, or it could be somebody that you've already been with for years and it's looking good, it's making you feel happy. When you step back and really think about it, it's like, yeah, this is what I want, you know? Um, in your immediate future, you get the devil, the eight of cups, and the lovers. Going back to that pattern, you know, of yours, of... I'm gonna walk away. That's why I saw it like a pattern with the devil card being here because this looks like a, a challenging connection in terms of this person is in your life for a reason. Uh, to teach you some lessons in terms of self lessons, you know, of yourself. Why do you walk away from situations? Because you feel you'll get hurt. Well, who hurt you to begin with? That you feel that everybody on this planet is gonna hurt you. Like, that's an example, right? Um, so I feel like this may be a powerful connection that you're deciding to leave just like all the others in the past. And I don't know if it's the case. I feel like there's still lessons that you need to learn from this connection. And it doesn't have to be that you're with this person physically. But then being in, in your life at one point, even that in itself is a lesson. Like, what did you get out of that, you know? Um... Let's see, you've got a very kind of grounded uh, energy in this reading. Let's uh, clarify the Page of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Star. I kind of feel like this is the person you're dealing with. It could be. Um... There's something, there's, there's, there's a sense of waiting, 
waiting for things to happen in just the, the right time in just the perfect way pretty much I'm having a hard time understanding how people are waiting for things to fall out of the sky you know um, I'm having a really hard time with that in terms of you want something done go do it you know there's a lot of waiting a lot of times for nothing uh, we can give ourselves excuses for everything yeah but the judge said that it's gonna take two years for so are you gonna wait two years you know um, do something to create that um, energy so that it comes to you and it's gonna come faster than two years I promise you you know, but if you're waiting for outside things to make it happen for you. And that, I, I don't know if this is you or your person, but somebody's just waiting for things to be perfect. Okay. Um, let's clarify. What do I want to clarify there? Let me clarify the Five of Wands in the recent past. Yeah, this is, I mean, the Empress, the Ten of Wands, and the Four of Swords. That's a lot of conflict with a person that you, at some point in your life, if not even now, uh, you thought of this person, this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with, right? And there's a lot of conflict there. And this person is doing their best, from what I'm seeing in there, to... to to heal, to, to not get into that conflict, to release this toxic behavior that was going on between the two of you right um and i kind of see you walking away from it but we'll see let's clarify the nine of pentacles in the recent past yeah the knight of wands the hierophant and the uh, uh, hangman There you are, not taking action. Um, kind of... I kind of see you waiting uh, for an ending to happen by not putting in the effort anymore, pretty much, you know? Um, yeah, that could be action in itself, not taking action. Um, I see a sense of letting something die on its own. And I'm, I'm still not getting where that's coming from. Um, it usually comes from insecurities, fears, whatever the case, but I'm still not, it's still not coming up. Like clearly. Because I know there's a fear somewhere there, but it's not popping up clearly here. Um, let's see. Let me clarify the Nine of Cups. Oops. The Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Yeah, somebody's taking their sweet time here to bring this back together. I feel like there's a, a sense, a need of reconciliation. And somebody's taking their sweet time because they're overthinking things. They're like, but okay, I'll, I'll do it today. And then it's like, no, it's too soon. Um, in two days, it's like, I'll do it today. No, it's no, it's still too soon. What? You know, there's, I mean, if you want to do something go going back to if you want to make something happen you can make it happen if you're doing that to yourself you're only getting yourself into your head and then when did that ever help anybody um let me clarify where do i not clarify the king of pentacles here The Sun, the Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles.
same thing same thing Ari. same thing is coming up over and over again it's like uh you have happiness in your life you have it in front of you and um it's there you know that it's there you can feel it but because somebody's not taking action, it's not freaking happening. Let's clarify the devil in the immediate future. The five of cups, the queen of pentacles, and the six of pentacles. Finally, it's shown up. Um, I feel like you want to you wanna balance things out in this connection. You want to make things right. And I feel like it's kind of a mirror effect. I feel like this person is also wanting to figure things out with you. But on your side, it's like you're trying, you're trying, you're trying. And what's, what's making you fail is the fact that you're not letting go of the past in terms of something may have happened in the past and you may hold a grudge you may hold this per person responsible you may you know and a lot of us do that where it's like let's begin fresh let's erase the past the past is not which is you know yeah you should be li living in the present however if you're in the present and bringing up stuff from the past you're still in the past easy as that and that's the problem here you're not letting go of the past or somebody's not. That's why this is not coming together. Let's clarify the lovers in the immediate future. The Eight of Cups, the Magician and the Emperor. There's you, Ari. Uh, Ari. Aries, ending your reading, uh, showing up as the Emperor. You're manifesting the, the ending to this connection. And you're going to be like, how? How am I manifesting that? Because I want that. I want this connection. You're afraid of this connection. That's how you're manifesting the ending. You're afraid of it. There's something that's making you be afraid of this connection. And it's you. You're afraid of yourself, pretty much, in this connection. And that's why you're manifesting like, uh, well, somewhere your soul is going, um, and not even your soul, your ego or whatever is manifesting here because it's not your soul. Uh, your fear doesn't come from there. So it's like, because I'm afraid of this, that this is not going to work out. I'm going to manifest a way that they are going to leave me. I'm, my behavior is going to bring them to the point where they're going to leave me. And you're still the one that's doing the leaving. Subconsciously, without even knowing here. So, um, let's pull some cards from the universe. Yeah, uh, you're, you're, hopefully by watching this reading, you're going to get it because I see a lot of change in energy in terms of because there's love here, I want to make things right. And there's action towards that. So whoever's doing that, they are aligned with how they truly feel. Whoever I read for in this reading, not so much because they feel fear underneath it all. That's why things are not working out. So... Either you or your person, somebody's taking action here to to make to make to bring balance in between the two of you. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.